Dear students of class 1, I am Mrs. Neha Makkar and in this video we are going to solve worksheet 2 of the lesson My Body and My Senses, Senses in the subject EVS. Now students, as we have studied in the lesson, we will solve a few questions based on it. So the first question is write true or false. Each part of a body has its name. Yes, it's absolutely true. So we will write T for true. Then students, chin is not located on the face. So it's absolutely false because it is located on the face. I told you that it is situated between your mouth and neck. So it's absolutely false. All of us look different. Yes, it's absolutely true. So those who have a problem in writing the spelling, they can write T for true and F for false. Now students, circle the correct option. My mother wears earrings in her ears. Earrings, so ears. The food goes inside the stomach and it is the place where it gets digested. Now they are saying, Name the body part which helps us to bend our arm. So arm is a portion from our shoulder to our wrist where we wear the watch. So which is the body part or the joint which helps us to fold or bend our hands. It is the elbow. So I have drawn here the elbow and I am writing elbow also here on the line given. Now students, the next question says, name any four body parts which are located on the face. So basically they are the sense organs like the eye, nose, ears, chin and cheek. So you can pick any four and write here. Now students turn around the page. Now here students the picture of this boy is given. And we have to label the different body parts. So we will start from the left hand side. So the first thing that they have labeled is the ear of the boy. How does the ear helps us children? The ear helps us to hear to different sounds. Then the next body part that is given is with which we eat. That is our mouth. Then the next body part that is given is our neck. How does the neck help us? It helps us to rotate our head and look here and there. Now students, this body part is the arm. As I told you from the shoulder till the wrist this entire portion is known as the arm now the next body part is the stomach this is the place where the food gets digested so we will write stomach now students the next body part that is given here is the hand okay this is the hand so we will write hand here now the next body part, this is the thigh. Above the knee and below the hip, this portion is known as the thigh. Now students, we will come to the right hand side of the picture. Now carefully look, this is the thread like structure. What, what is it called as? It is called as hair. So we will write hair here. Now the next one here, these are the eyes. The eyes help us to see. Now the next one is the nose. The nose helps us to smell or breathe. Now here children, this is the chest. The upper portion of the body, this is known as the chest. Now students, this, this is the thing that we have just drawn. 
that is the elbow the elbow helps us to fold or bend our hand so this is the elbow now if you carefully like look here st students this these are the fingers exactly at the point of the fingers the arrow is being marked so these are the fingers this was the entire portion so that is why we marked it hand so fingers five fingers it is pointing towards and now after fingers as you ca can see that this is the joint of the leg which helps us to fold our legs so this is known as a knee it helps us to bend now lastly this they are pointing towards the this portion so this portion is known as the foot if they would have put the arrow at the starting then we would have written toe but they have put at the back portion of the leg so this is the foot and the front portion is the toe so now students let us come to the last and the final question that is draw color and name the missing body parts so here in this picture as you can see what is missing children the nose is missing and in this picture what you can see is missing the eyes are missing so we will draw the missing body parts and here we will write that the eyes are missing and here we will write that the nose is missing so thank you children